am the home of the best student section in Orange County. I've written it in the paper, I've put it on Twitter. This place sets the standard. There's some good ones out there, but uh, you know, they're all second, they're all tied for second place behind the champion surf. I'm rector of the Spear Committee, which is part of the Priory system here at Survey High School. And uh, our main pillar of the Spear Committee is, uh, is the asylum. Well, really, it's ran by the entire student body, but it's uh, overseen by myself and eight members of the Spirit Committee. I think last year the guys, uh, Brian Frankie and those guys, uh, they definitely, you know, set things up for us. So, you know, props to them. Last May, I signed up for a Spirit Committee Priory Leadership Council, and uh, I got the position uh, along with Adam O'Shea, and uh, the rest is history. It, you know, uh, so it's been always uh, kind of the best of the rowdy rooters that we have in Orange yeah. County basketball. We had some problems at the beginning of the year with just the cheers that we were doing, and towards the end of the year, we worked a lot of things out. I think they did quite a decent job this year, actually a really good job. Started slow, and it took a while for the school as a whole. The asylum's only as big as some of its parts. Once everybody finally bought in and got going, and all got on the same page, communication improved. Turnout improved, morale improved, and um, the asylum had a big effect on a lot of games and really helped put Servite out there for so many reasons, many of which because of the wild and crazy antics of the asylum. The asylum, uh, while being probably the most sane thing on campus, right, is also the place where you actually see when somebody engages fully that they have tremendous power just because of their person. Because fullness of expression is so rare, we, it's like going into a battle unarmed, you know, I would say, for the opponent because they, they can't, they haven't ever contested the way we address a game, ever. We've always managed to control that when we, when we are in fact an asylum. Gee, when I was a kid growing up uh, in South Santa Ana, there was a guy on our street uh, named Blaine Nye. And his number's up there on the wall of, uh, here in the gym of guys who've uh, had their number retired here. And uh, he was a great football player, player, played for the Dallas Cowboys, and a bunch of other guys' names up there, guys that I've covered and, and, and known. You know, Rick Garrison, Steve Berline, geez, there's Adam Anderson up there, uh, Brian Kenny. Uh, Joe Deal, boy, I know so many of those guys uh, up there who have been great athletes here that I know pretty well. When I first started covering high school sports full-time at the Register in 1990, covered a game here when Larry Walker was coaching here. Uh, and, you know, you, it was just the best student section at the time, just so much fun. And then years later, it became known as the Pit. And, you know, uh, there have been times in the past where the group of kids, you know, the group of fellows, you know, sort of went over the line of bad taste once in a while. And it's going to happen, but... We were a bit rowdier, but that's what led to us getting in the papers and on, on the news and in the media for the wrong reasons. But um, the same basic principles were in play as are in the asylum. It's, it's, it's a group of young men, oftentimes a large group of young men, banding together and to create a true home field advantage, a home court advantage, to creatively find ways to impact whatever event they're at, kind of tilt the, uh, to the field of the court in favor of the Friars. Lately, you know, as the asylum, it's been really good. It, 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 they, the asylum sets the standard for, for all other student sections here in Orange County. All in all, I'm beyond impressed and pleased with what the asylum it has become. The asylum now has found a way to merge and blend both quality and quantity and create a uh, more unified, more vocal version. It's a big step up, to be honest. We had a good stupid section back then, but to compare to now, it's, it's a lot better. There's more people involved, it's louder, it's, it's perfect. What's kind of funny is that in the last few years, we've seen an explosion of student sections. And I think the asylum was the one who started this trend, but the asylum sets the standard, man. It just seems to get better, it seems to get more clever, you know? And one of the cool things that we saw this year was when modern day play basketball here, and Stanley Johnson, the best player in the state, and, and he was entertaining the asylum, the time was in it, we're, we're entertaining. Uh, Stanley. It was just a great situation all around and you go on Twitter and you saw that you know Stanley and the Asylum were giving each other a lot of mutual respect on Twitter after the game so it was cool. It's good to see the Asylum has kept the energy level up and the creativity up and maintained some really good good qualities to reflect the school in a positive way.
the enthusiasm, the energy feeds off from there. As a player as myself, that I learned from being on the football field, where we have down moments. We have our student section yell and cheer us on, and we tell them to get loud, and they'll get us loud. And that puts up a more emotional upbringing and challenge to us to make us do better out there. You know, you try and rattle, rattle everybody. You try and rattle the kids shooting free throws, stuff like that. I think now there's so many student sections that, that kids are used to it, and so they don't get rattled as much. All right? you know, almost every game I go to, there's a, a student section of some 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 level. You know, Western has a small but very dedicated. Servite's got just a massive one going. You know, it seems like the whole school's <laughs> sitting over there, so they don't get rattled as much. So yeah, they, they can rattle kids a little bit, and, and I think that definitely in a place like Servite and any other place, the basketball players they feed off that energy, and it really gets them right. Down.